are you today? I finally have some finished objects. <laughs> it took me long enough. Excuse me. I just woke up. I'm a ragamuffin. Do you have your cup of coffee? I have a couple things to talk to you about. Oh. Okay. So, uh, what should we tackle first? Let's tackle the happy mail. Um, I mentioned to you before in one of my videos, uh, not last video, not last video, like video before. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Um, that I was going to close my PO box and I have done that. Um, so please do not send me anything in my PO box because it won't get to me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm not going to be opening another one. So it just, it was not worth it for me. Um, I've had it open for a couple of years and it barely got used. So, yeah. Um, if you do have anything that you need to get to me, then just contact me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and we can discuss that okay okay um but i did get one happy mail before i closed the p.o box i knew this was coming um i did not expect the outcome <laughs> i had gotten a hold of heather from the crochet witch hi heather <laughs> Um, and I asked her, she said that she was going to Hobby Lobby and that she had a few things there that she wanted to get. I asked her, you know, if there was anything or, um, I asked her about a couple of different yarns. One yarn wasn't there. Ooh, -hoo. <laughs> but, uh, the other was. And I haven't had it in my stock for a little while. It's one of my all-time favorite Hobby Lobby yarns. And I asked her to grab me a few and I would pay her. Hadn't heard from her, hadn't heard from her. And all of a sudden, a package arrives. She says, hey, there's a package in your mailbox. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I go down and I get it. And there's a card. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I just woke up. <laughs> um, so there was a card. And it said, you know, you're not paying for this. Happy birthday. And I was like, ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so she sent me. Two, three, four, six. Six of my, I love this yarn uh, print in Moody Mosaic. I would love to have like a whole whacking bunch of this. I love this yarn so much. The colors are amazing. Um, if you've never worked with Moody Mosaic and you live in the States, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, you need to get this yarn and you need to try it out because the colors are amazing. Um, I remember I saw this from, here I am name dropping all over the place. Um, Crystal from Chronically Crocheting. She made, oh gosh, what did she make? That was a long time ago. Was it a sweater? Sweater or shawl or something. And she made it in this. And I instantly fell in love. Instantly. I had to have this yarn. Um, so I found someone that could send it to me. And I have loved it ever since. So, yeah. 
I'm just, I love this. So <clears throat> she also sent me, I don't have them here. I've got them at the shop and it worked perfectly. Um, her and I had discussed <clears throat> me putting in, putting <laughs> her making up some of her dragon dice bags um, and putting them in my shop. I figured that it would probably cost too much to ship them and by the time she was finished uh i in canada i probably wouldn't have gotten my money gotten the money back for them because canada stinks <laughs> let's just face it um with the exchange rate and everything I wouldn't have been able to, to sell them for what I, I would need to. So um, I thought, well, okay, just send a couple and see how it goes or whatever. But she sent three of them. Um, I took them to the shop and <sighs> yesterday just happened to be two of our vendors' birthdays. They were brother and sister. And you've probably seen them in my clips and stuff. It was Angela, from, let's see if I can get it right. Crazy Critter Cookies. There we go. Uh, it was her birthday and it was her birthday, or her brother's birthday, Dave, from... I can never remember the name of his brickety brackety no brickety brickety doodah brickety doodah that's it <laughs> um it's a, a lego store <laughs> I can never get the name right uh so anyways it was there I found out on Facebook that it was their birthday and they are avid dvd dvd d and d dungeons and dragons players um, so I ended up giving two of those bag <clears throat> bags to them for their birthday. We were running around like crazy. I, cause I said to Miles, the guy across from me, I says, Oh, it's Angela's birthday today. He's like, Oh, it is too. So, um, I ran over to the British store and I got a card for, for them. And I went around to all the vendors and got them to sign the card. And the massage girl, excuse me, the massage girl that was a couple stores behind behind me, um, she was with a client. So I couldn't get her signature, but came to find out later that she had already made a cake. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that worked out. But yeah, so we all went and... Um, saying like happy birthday and everything and and it was it worked out really well so anyways they were really thrilled with the bags and so that worked out um you know the universe works in mysterious ways i tell you so i was really happy about that so thank you thank you thank you so much heather i love you i you know we don't talk near enough um since I've opened the shop, I just feel like I'm kind of lost some lost touch with some people. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You made their day and you made my day because I was able to, you know, give them something that actually meant something to them. Um, I'm not a Dungeons and Dragons player, so I'm not entirely sure what the parameters and everything are for that. But um, I know that a lot of people do play. So that was the perfect gift. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm good. I'm looking forward to making something with this yarn. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> what else? Um, I just had something in my head. And now I'm just like, whoop. I can't even remember. I'll come back to that, I guess. <laughs> okay, I have two finished objects. Yay me! <laughs> this this one, you guys have already seen the beginnings of. My elephant. She's done. <laughs> you know, um, again, name dropping. Uh, Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hootin' and Crafts. She just did um, 
a big craft fair. Well, it was supposed to be bigger, but it was, it was good for her. Uh, and she showed all of her stuffed animals and, or all of her, uh, well, yeah, I guess they're stuffed animals. That girl, uh, she just blows me away with the things that she creates from out of her head. And <clears throat> so she's kind of given me the bug to start making some amigurumi stuff. But my amigurumi is so different than hers. Mine sucks, but hers is fantastic. I, I've got her link down below as well. Um, go check it out because... Um, that girl's got some serious talent. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so here is my elephant. <laughs> Isn't she cute? <laughs> oh, her she's got to grow into her ears. <laughs> so I get, put some little flowers there and I gave her some hair. So, yeah, <laughs> she just needed something, you know, I made her and I was like, nah, she needs something. So I gave her some hair. <laughs> so, yeah, so there she is. Um, the, I've got the, I'm not happy with the plat, with the eyelash plastic here. Um, these, these ones are meant these plastics are meant for bigger eyes, but at the time, these are the only eyes I had, so the plastic kind of shows a bit, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, they're in there good, like solid, and uh, I always melt the plastic, the backs, um, and then hammer them down so they flatten out and make sure that they don't come out, so yeah. So what do you guys think? I'm thinking I might give her, give her to um, Omalara. She works with um, with Miles at the crystal store. She's uh, African or Nigerian. Yeah. <clears throat> so I thought that would be kind of cute. <laughs> so, yeah. So there you go. I'm, I'm going to put a necklace on her, though. I'm going to make her a necklace when I go to work. So, because she needs a necklace. So I made her. And then I've been meaning to make one of these for a while. Uh, it's been in my playlist and I, it's been haunting me. Um, I So I went to Michael's before work yesterday and I got some blanket yarn. <clears throat> and... Um, uh, I want to make a gray one too, because out here, ours are gray, but I'm in love with this little dude. <laughs> I'm just like, it turned out better than I expected. It's a little fat seal. <laughs> Look at the eyes. This is the face that I look at every day from Bailey that says, why aren't you taking me with you, mom? Like the seal eyes are like, she gives me these seal eyes that are, it just kills me all the time. I'm just like, oh, so it's got the little flippers. Right. Um, I, this nose piece here. I changed the nose piece then that then that that mm. mm -hmm. not awake it's a different nose piece that she used in the video um, because I found that that nose piece just didn't look right and yeah I didn't like it at all so I I I created you guys I created something for an amigurumi Wow so I created this piece and I think it looks way better. I think it actually looks seal-like. I don't know. What do you guys think? See, it's even got the little mouth piece there. So, yeah. I mean, I, just, I, I adore this little thing. I mean, look at the fin. 
The way she did the fin was genius. Um, she kind of, on the video, she's like, hey, this is what it is. You know, it's like people may not agree with the way I do this or whatever. And I'm like, girlfriend, are you kidding me? This made it so much easier. So much easier. And I think it actually looks like a fin, right? Like a lot of other um, patterns that I've had or videos I've watched, the, th the tail does not look like the actual tail. So I'm thinking I'm going to actually use this the way she does this on anything that I make, like my little whales and stuff, I'm going to make this fin instead because it's easy and it looks good. So yeah, so I will leave her link down below. Um, this little guy didn't take me long at all. Uh, the eye, putting in the eyes took me longer because these are um, the eyes from Dark Side Eyes. And they, 12 o'clock at night, I'm doing this. And I'm hammering. <laughs> I actually had to take this thing outside on our front porch and go and ha start hammering to get the eyes in at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh, God. But I got it done because I really wanted to get this done to show you guys before I went to work. Um, and I just, I think that these, these are going to sell really well, uh, in the shop. So I just have to make some gray ones. Yeah. So there you have it, you guys. I've got two finished projects. Yay. Yay me. Um, like I said, I did go to Michael's and I, I'll show you a little clip. Okay. So. I went in for one thing, came out with a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Who knew? Like, look at this. Look at this. I got a big bag for 80 bucks. And it would have cost me like way, way, way over $100. Um, so yeah, I can't believe that the Charisma was on for $3. Like what? That's unheard of. And the eco cotton was on for five. So yeah, hello. I stocked up on that. And then of course I had to go and buy a Bernat blanket for my seal that I'm gonna be doing. That cost 14 freaking dollars, hello. So, but that's okay, cause I got 30% off with my coupon, so. But now I'm off to work. So I went there to get gray um, blanket yarn which was not on sale ever. Um, <clears throat> but I did get, uh, I got some eco cotton. I, have, I haven't even bought this since it came out because I wasn't too sure about the texture. The texture on this stuff, it's not as bad as the stuff that came out before this. That stuff was horrid. Oh, I mean, I would never buy that stuff. So ever since then, I've been a little bit leery. Do I have any here? Yeah, I've been a little bit leery about buying. I don't want to roll over my dog here. Oh, a little bit leery about buying anything eco. <gasps> Excuse me, because the, the feeling of plastic was really apparent in the last stuff they did a year or so ago. Um, so I, I mean, in my opinion, we got really spoiled with the Loops and Threads Eco Brights. When this stuff came out, oh, it was plush. Um, unfortunately they discontinued this. Why? I don't know. <sighs> but, um, this, what, this is squishy soft. I love this stuff. They really need to bring this back. So... <clears throat> Um, uh, so anyways, I, oops, I got this, um, eco, uh, eco, what's it called? Eco, eco, mm -hmm. eco cozy. Okay. 
they had this on sale for five dollars now you guys may not think that five dollars is very cheap but here it is because they usually sell this for like 10 bucks or so like it's crazy the price for yarn in canada is atrocious and the prices are going up in the states i'm noticing um i don't know what's happening but the the bargains down in the states are not the bargains that i'm used to seeing <clears throat> so anyway so i grabbed a bunch of these i grabbed it in black and blue i didn't even know they had it in black um but they do so i may end up going and getting some more but yeah so i got it in black and blue oh i think that's the only color i got it in yeah mm, yeah and then i noticed that they had charisma which i love charisma they had that on sale for three dollars i was like what okay came here for one thing getting a bunch so i got it in this color is <laughs> this color is dream sorbet <coughs> oh excuse me oh my goodness I, you guys we have pollen here like bad and my allergies are starting to kick in it's like a snowstorm every time i go to work yeah, with the pollen it's it's terrible <coughs> okay so this is called dream sorbet i, I like i like that color <sighs> and then i got uh jam yeah so those are the only two colors i got the other colors i wasn't too interested in so i got a bunch of those by the time i walked out of there i spent 80 dollars and the the Burnett blanket was like 14 dollars ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so anyway okay i guess that's all i got to tell you guys but at least i had something to tell you <laughs> that wasn't shop related oh um i wanted to say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for all of your support um i when i put the last couple of videos out and i was saying i was losing subscribers um, there was an outpour of love from my yarn and bees <clears throat> and I, I got an email for, or a uh, Facebook message, me message from one of you that touched my heart. Um, she basically did this <laughs> in a loving way and, um, as did a, a few of you um and told me to not worry about the haters not worry about the people that don't want to just want to watch certain content that i put on my channel and to do me just to do me and uh i i thank you so much it's really hard when you're a content creator because you want to give what everybody wants and that's not always possible so we have to roll with the punches and we struggle to put content out sometimes um, because we want to talk to you about what's happening in our life and sometimes that doesn't jive with some sub some subscribers right um, I get that I understand because there are some channels that I watch that you know, there's stuff that they have on there that I, I'm not interested in because that's not something that I'm, I do, right? So I just do what all of you guys basically said was I skip past that and, uh, and then watch the content that I am interested in. The problem with that is that inside some of those videos, there's content in there that 
I did want to watch and I missed it. So, um, just be aware of that, that not all videos that say blah, 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 this is what's in my video is all right, you know, because there could be something in there, a little gem in there that you completely miss. So I suggest to go through the video, fast forward what you don't want to watch, and then ch check and see if there's something in there that you do want to watch. Uh, because there's, I mean, for me, um, I don't just talk about one thing in my video, right? Like it's not all about the shop or all about crochet. It's all, they're all about you know, my life or all, you know, it's like I throw a bunch of stuff in my videos. So I get a lot of comments, uh, saying to me, um, how did I miss that? You know, or did you put that in a video? Cause I don't remember, you know, and, and that's the, that's the problem is that if you don't watch all of my videos, you could be missing something. Uh, and you know, who knows, maybe I throw in a giveaway in a video. Maybe I throw it like, who knows what I put in my videos? Um, because it's not all just one thing. When I get on camera, I don't have it scripted. I just start talking, right? I mean, some things I script, like I wanted to show you guys these, but, um, you never know what's going to come up. So I really suggest that you, you know, fast forward through what you don't want to watch and then continue to watch the rest because, you know, I, I get a lot of comments saying, I didn't know that. I, how did you, did you talk about this? And it's like, should have watched my video, <laughs> you know, and it's like that in a lot of videos, a lot of people's videos do that. And if you don't watch them all, you're going to miss a lot of stuff. So just some food for thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, um, yeah. So I guess that's it for today. I'm going to go to work. I have to go pay my rent, uh, for the shop. It's my second month that I'm paying rent for. So, oh, I can't believe I've already been there for what? Six weeks, something like that. It feels like it. <laughs> but it's getting better. It's getting better. <clears throat> I'm actually quite happy. Um, when I actually looked at the totals for this month, um, it was better than I thought it was. But when you're getting like 20 bucks here, five bucks here, 50 bucks here, you know, it's all sporadic. You don't really know until the end of the month. Um, how much you actually brought in. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay, guys, I'm going to go check out those links down below. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, yeah, I'm, um, oh, I'm going to put out a video. It's going to be a short video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if I've talked to Sandy Duda from Left is Right Crochet. I have. Um, and I didn't want to put this. Okay. You know what? I'm going to just do it now. Um, I didn't want to put out a video about this because I didn't think it was my story to tell. Uh, and she said, no, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Um, but she was on a lot of painkillers, so I didn't know if she really wanted me to or not, but <laughs> she's a little more lucid now. So, um, Sandy had a little blip in the road. She was having pains in her legs and <clears throat> she, um, her, her feet, her feet were going purple. And I said, you know, I think you got a blockage or something. You better go in and get checked. So she was waiting for a doctor's appointment and she woke up one morning and the pain was so excruciating. She told her husband, John, I think I need to go to the hospital. She ended up, 
um, getting some tests done and going in for emergency surgery that night. Um, she had an aortic um, uh, aneurysm. If she hadn't have gone in the hospital when she did, uh, if it had have burst, it would have killed her. She had no idea. <clears throat> she hadn't been feeling well for a while. Um, but the doctors were dragging their feet. She was telling them, look, I need something done here because I know something's wrong. Uh, and they just kind of went, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get to it, basically. Um, so, yeah, I got a phone call. It's the first time I went to bed early and she ended up phoning and I didn't hear the phone. <clears throat> oh, she's, <laughs> um, I can't even think about what ifs if I, you know, <clears throat> but anyway, um, she had the surgery. It went well. It was a five hour surgery. It went well. Um, she's doing good. She's doing physical therapy now. Um, the, <laughs> I got this message from her saying the doctors saved my toes. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> And uh, she finally contacted me and says, I'm so sorry that I haven't messaged you, but, you know, lots going on and everything. Um, <clears throat> the circulation in her toes and everything, her toes, like a couple of her toes were black and um, there was just no circulation. And so they finally, they said, you know, okay, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to, you know, you get to start working again. And <clears throat> but they were worried they were going to have to amputate a couple of her toes. So, um, they didn't. And so she's, I think she's going to be going home tomorrow. I think if all goes well, <clears throat> she's been in the hospital for a week now. Oh, a week or over a week. Oh, I'm losing, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm losing track of time. Um, so yeah, it's been a rough go. She was in a lot of pain the whole time she was in the hospital. And, um, yeah, uh, it was, it was rough. It was, I was so scared. She's my best friend. Um, oh, <clears throat> she's my best friend and I am. Um, I could have lost her before I even met her, <laughs> you know, um, I haven't been able to get down to Kansas city and, uh, <clears throat> cause I haven't been able to go across the border. Stupid reasons. Um, and I started to really regret, uh, not letting her come up for our wedding. <clears throat> I started having a lot of thoughts and um, it was, it was hard. It was hard not, um, hearing from her and not knowing what was happening. <clears throat> I was stressed right out, but she's okay now. Um, and she's hopefully going home tomorrow. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know when she's coming back to YouTube or if she is, um, but yeah, uh, keep her in your, in your thoughts and prayers, please. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go. I, I have to go to work and, um, I have to fix myself now. <coughs> okay. So. Um, yeah. So there you have it. <laughs> okay. I love you all. I love you. 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 Uh, and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Mwah. Okay.
Bye.